Good morning, everybody. It's already been a really long morning. It's 10.39. I have had one cup of fatty coffee. I am working on a second cup of plain black salted coffee, and I'm about to go muck out a pen. I realized that I totally forgot. So it's gonna be one of those really crazy what I eat in a day videos, and I will take you along with me for the fun of it. With every star, we are born again. Open your heart, spend this time in your head. just finished up our first meeting with the Mighty Network. It's our community hangout and I managed to get the pen mucked out just before I had to go get in my meeting. So that was done 15 minutes beforehand. Worked out fantastically. I have not eaten anything yet today. I just had the fatty coffee and then a black coffee. Turn that on. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Actually not sure. I think I might go in and pull some ground beef out of the freezer. And I'm thinking maybe like steak tartare, possibly dipped in egg yolks. Uh, I have the ability to do that because I know where my cow came from and it's from my farmer who's local and I know it's been frozen for more than six weeks. So I'm able to do that with my cow. Um, let me see, I might be able to come up with something else. I'm not entirely sure what though. And the AC is apparently on, sorry, I know that's loud. Yeah, I will be back with whatever it is that I figure out I'm gonna do. All right, so I finally decided what I was gonna have to eat. <laughs> Took me a few minutes. I decided that I was going to do some deviled eggs and then I made a taco bowl. If you guys wanna see the steak tartare dipped in egg yolks, let me know down below and then I can make that next week for you and show you how I do it. It's not typical, it's a little bit different. For my angeled eggs, I will link that up above. I made three halves. Uh, they're a little overstuffed, but that's because I did extra mayonnaise so that it was nice and gooey. And then this is my taco bowl. This is four ounces of ground beef and I can link down below the taco seasoning that I like to use. One whole egg and then two egg yolks and they've been sitting on top of the nice warm meat. So then you mix all this together. It has got the most amazing flavor. The cooked egg is almost like rice. That's kind of a rice texture. 
And then the two yolks along with the taco seasoning make it almost like a Taco Bell type meat. It's really good, very creamy. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of butter to it as well. But before I eat all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my numbers. This morning, it was very interesting. I usually have, start off my day with two fatty coffees. This morning, I drank about half of one fatty coffee and I just kind of didn't want to finish it. And black coffee sounded really good. And I don't like black coffee, but black coffee with a little bit of salt sounded fantastic. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have some black coffee with salt and we'll go from there. I finished off the entire cup of black coffee with a little bit of salt in it, Redmond salt. I was completely shocked. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, 59 on my glucose. I, I feel fine. I'm honestly fine. I'm not hypoglycemic. This would be my ketones. And so I drank a whole cup of black coffee. Did you get enough? Okay, good. I turned off the beeping. So I drank a whole cup of black coffee with salt. And then I was like, well, I'm good. Okay, and then 4.5 on those. So I will pop up the GKI and the Dr. Boz ratio over here. And then I am definitely gonna dig in to this. If you had some chicken skins, you could use those like chips and dip that in there. This also would be really good with like some bacon bits, as long as it fits in your macros. If you wanted to do a salad, you could like a taco salad type thing. I'm actually not doing the salad anymore. I, I did it for a little while. I enjoyed it but then the inflammation and the swelling started to come back. So I was like, bye-bye. Again, I'm honestly back to carnivore. As long as you consider coconut oil acceptable on carnivore, I'm 98% carnivore again. And then I will pop up the macros for what I have had to eat so far today. I'm definitely gonna eat some more once I'm done with this. I actually have over here on the counter thawing some bone marrow, some big old beef bones. I go to my butcher and I say, hey, do you guys have any marrow bones? And they go, what? And I say, you know, usually they're for dogs, the, the big bones that have the marrow inside of them. And they go, oh yeah, we have some of those. I got those ones for 99 cents a pound. And I bought an entire tray of it and bring those home and then I freeze them and I thaw them out whenever I'm ready to use them. So I'll show you guys how I make that later after their thawed, and then probably have some yolk waffles. Guys, I, I can't get over those yolk waffles. They make it so simple to be able to up your fat and you can change them so many different ways. I really do eat them almost every single day. But I'm gonna go eat now, cause I'm obviously in a really good state of ketosis. Time for me to eat lunch because I'm hungry. It's 2.30 and I'll probably be done eating all of my solid food by six o'clock tonight. I did have that fatty coffee this morning. I'm sure that's probably why my ketones are looking pretty good, but I'm gonna keep riding the wave as long as I can keep that fatty coffee if my body wants it. If it doesn't, then obviously I can do black coffee now. I'm so proud of myself, I grew up. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat, and the next time that I decide what else I'm gonna have, I'll bring you guys along with me.
Okay, so as always, the day has completely gotten away from me. I forgot that I had a meeting at six, so I was not able to consume all of my food by that point in time. Cleaning up here. I decided not to do the bone marrow because it's it's getting pretty late. It's 7.45 and in order to do the bone marrow, I'm gonna have to preheat the oven and then cook it. And that's just not gonna be an option. So instead I made the waffles my egg yolk waffles and I decided to make these more of a dessert waffle for right now. So the typical regular recipe, which I'll link um, up above. And then I added a few extra things. I did, I measure everything with my heart because Lindsay says measure with your heart. So I did Lindsay Murphy, just in case you need someone else to follow, you should go follow her. Uh, I did maple extract. And I did about five drops of this English toffee butter stevia and then a dash of cinnamon. And it creates this amazing, very rich cinnamon and sugar flavored waffle. Some people have complained that these are too plain, so these have butter on them. Some people have com complained that they're too plain. So this is one way you could make a you know, very, a sweet cinnamon waffle. You can add something like cheese, Italian seasoning, garlic, onion powder, anything like that to these to make them savory for buns or even make little pizzas out of them with a little bit of marinara with some ground beef in it. And then if you're doing cheese, cheese on top, you can do that. And then because my macros were still a little low, I added the fatty bedtime tea. I actually didn't do the tea last night because I was pretty full and so I didn't do it. I thought maybe that's why I was going to have really good numbers today, but the tea had nothing to do with it because I didn't actually do the tea. So I showed you guys how I make this. It's the vanilla honey chamomile. I thought it was just vanilla chamomile, so I was totally wrong on that. I do one bag. I steep it 158 degree water for about five minutes, squeeze it out. I actually save the bags so that I can sprinkle the herbs on top of the chicken's food because chickens need herbs too. And I don't really want to let anything go to waste right now. So I save those bags and I sprinkle it on the chicken's food in the next couple of days. This is like one tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of butter to the tea. And then I blend it a little bit more coconut oil went in there than normal, but you know, that's okay. And then stevia glycerite, is my favorite way to sweeten the tea. So this is gonna be a legitimate dessert. This is gonna be a lot of sweet flavor. You don't have to do the sweet flavors. I mean, it's very much recommended to get away from them. I don't do them very often, but I decided that I really wanted to do it tonight. So I hope that that gives you guys some more ideas. I know I'm using these yolk waffles to death on what you could do for a high fat day add sauces, add butter, add oil, add, you know, avocado oil or coconut oil or olive oil. You can add raw yolks to almost anything and they will make a fantastic creamy sauce. I dip in raw yolks. Let me know if you guys want to see next week how I do my steak tartare dipped in egg yolks. If that's totally not your thing, then, you know, let me know. No, don't bother doing that. But anyways, okay, the dogs are like scratching at the door. So I'll let you guys go. Uh, I'm gonna pop up the macros for my entire day right over here. And I will just keep doing these to give you guys as many ideas as I can to be able to help you out on your Dr. Buzz journey of going to the higher fat and beginning to heal whatever you may be trying to heal from. So anyways, Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the way. Uh, for my, no. So it's, it's 2.30. It's 2.35 right now. Oh, I should go close my cupboard. Oh, I'm covered in, I don't even know what. Okay, I'll melt your butter for you. There you go. Oh, thank you, darling. Okay, close it. Crab, 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 crab is my food. Crab, your favorite food. Yes, yes, yes.
I'm glad we had some that was still frozen. And here's our treasures from the creek. Kids found all kinds of fun little shells down in there. So they brought me some shells and even one that's whole. He opens up. Hello. There we go. Where the lobsters are. They also walked down the driveway and picked some mulberries. So we'll keep adding to this stash um, until they start to go bad, and then we will freeze dry some or dehydrate them and save them for later.